Hey guys. Well, today I thought I'd take a look at uh, AOM Mech Black Mamba LS15, the uh, Jetfire, oversized Jetfire. Now, uh, I didn't think I was going to get this. Um, I bought it back in March, and I just got it today. I actually called up my credit card company and uh, told them about it, and they paid me back for it. So, uh, to be honest, I guess I'm going to have to call them back up and pay for it again. Not that I want to, but there was a tracking number, and it did say delivered. So, they're probably going to catch me anyway. <laughs> so, fuck. So, anyway, I figured I'd show you this, uh, because this is how it came in the box. Like, it was a little fucked up there. It was right, break, broken through, but uh, nothing seems to be broken or anything, which is nice. Because uh, they didn't package it very well. I got it from TH, TF Direct. And uh, it was just in the, sh the regular shipping box. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a bunch of pieces to it and everything. So I will take it out and try to get it together. And then I'll show you after what it looks like. Right on. Well, here he is all transformed up and put together. It did come with uh, a few pieces. I had to go online. And some people actually never did them right. Ben did them right on this. But some people don't stick these uh cables these cables or straps or whatever the hell they're supposed to be ammo feeds or something they're supposed to plug into the side of the chest right here where there's a port and it looks a lot better some people just leave them hanging i didn't care for that very much but uh i would like to compare it to the other figure but i never i was able to get it it, it came out and then uh, before I was able to purchase it, it went up in three times the price around here, and I never seen it again. So, Toys R Us never carried it, as far as I know. I never seen it, and uh, Walmart, I don't think, had it. The only place I had it, found it, was on Amazon, and you know how Amazon is. Let's buy it all and gouge afterwards. But um, here's a comparison, size comparison anyway, before I transform it up. I don't know if that'll be today, because God knows. That's the first day of my vacation, and then i got to start drinking. But uh, after I'm drinking, maybe I'll start uh, transforming it up. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, I figured I'd do a couple of comparisons. That's the way Zhang uh, are in canon over there, of course. And uh, uh, another Black Mamba figure. That's the oversized Starscream. And uh, hang on. Here he is with LTO2 and Unique Toys RTO3. Is yeah, that what it is? Something like that. Oh, hang on. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <sighs> <laughs> All right, well, there's a scale for that. All right, let's try something else. All right, here he is with another Black Mamba figure, the Optimus Prime, what, LS02, 03? I can't remember what it was, but anyway, I like this one way better. I didn't buy the one with the abs, whatever the fuck that was. Um, I, just, I just like this one, so I just bought this one. I didn't buy the other one. And there he is with the, um, what were you again? Do I have this? Oh, I guess I left the batteries in it. Oh. Yeah, don't fall. I love that figure. I cannot love a human baby as much as I love that figure. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so there's the, uh, the scale for that. Let's do a little bit more scaling, shall we? And here he is with one of my favorite all-time figures of all time the winged dragon from whatever that chinese name was jing no whatever. i'm not gonna say it but winged dragon anyway and i love this figure now m3 reviews has it in robot mode and uh sorry dragon mode i never transformed it just simply because I am 
very, very particular uh, on my figures, and I couldn't handle it. any scratches. I just couldn't handle it. But it doesn't matter to me. I would like it in this form anyhow. Now, if I had money, uh, more money, I would buy another one and have it in totally in dragon form for two. But um, that's okay. Um, this is definitely one of my top fives. This is a 100% must-have if you can get it. If you like Beast Wars Megatron, and that is the best Megatron in my opinion. Now I have them all, just like dragons, but my god, is that an awesome figure. It's very heavy, it's like three and a half pounds, <laughs> there's lots of metal in it. It is absolutely amazing. Now, that is the comparison to that. So now I guess, oh, um, I guess I gotta say that I did, I did go out and buy the uh, Mirage, didn't I? Yeah, I bought Sideswipe by mistake, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I was drunk, but okay. So I have the uh, Death Decepticon. I'm drunk now too. And the Autobot. I would like to have the Ghost form, but I'm not paying that ridiculous price on Amazon for three figures just because I want the Ghost form in Mirage. So, um, okay, let's just end it there, and I will transform this motherfucker up right now. Well, maybe not right now, but the next time you see it, it'll be transformed. How's that? <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see now, this is a little subjective because, I mean, some people might have him, uh, his, his legs bent down more, right? Because, in fact, you really should have him uh, lower down uh, for this, uh, you know, his cane because I can't get it to fit. If I, if I got it like that, it sticks out of up, up in the air a little bit. And it also comes with these four pieces. I have no idea. There's no instructions, of course, right? Why would there be instructions? So I couldn't find this. Um, I'm thinking it may be for Prime. Because, uh, you know, you can buy the Prime and, and do the Super Prime upgraded, whatever. But I didn't bother because I didn't care for that mold very much anyway. But, uh, so I don't know what they're for. But uh, let's see if I can get this damn thing transformed up and see. Then we'll do some comparisons to the Jets. I had almost forgot. Uh, last week, M3 Reviews Marcos I mentioned because I sent him something and it came in a TF Dream Factory box. It was either this one, which is the Megatron... I didn't buy the Black Mamba upscale Megatron because I thought it looked really cheap. And the Black Mamba, they're good. Like the like that figure is really good too. But I, I you know what? The plastics, it, it feels cheap. I know it's probably not. I'm wondering how long it's going to last, you know, because if it gets dry and brittle, is it going to, I mean, dry, is it going to be brittle? Uh, I kind of wonder if these toys, these knockoffs or, or things from China um, actually have the, the staying power. Well, we won't see for a couple more years, will we? But anyway, um, this one's a really good figure. And the problem is with the TF Dream Factory figures, the, my experience, as this never worked because it was broken right when I got it because this is supposed to light up. And this, I had a hell of a time getting that to work. And when I finally did, I think I actually had to... There were some, the wires are so, like, they're soldered with a hair of solder, like, sometimes. They, like, they're just so cheaply done, right? Um, and for some reason, I can't get the lights back on his eyes. Either they burnt out or whatever. But I always liked the look of that figure. It was very detailed, right? It has lots of good detail, and coloring's really nice. And, and I just really like this mold better than the Black Mama, so I never got that. I would have got the Battle Damage one, but I never saw it for a decent price. And this one is the uh, the Brawl version, uh, the Desert Colors by TF Dream Factory. Now, this one still works. It, there's buttons on it that don't work, but uh, if you turn this... So that still lights up. And then... The um, the turret itself, you push that in. Is this working now? Nope. All right, so wait. Maybe you got to put it straight. No, all right, it's finicky. Like I said, sometimes that'll work, sometimes it won't. It's not working right now. But anyway, those are the only TF uh, Dream Factory figures I do have. So, Marcos, it was one of them. But anyway, let's get them transformed up. 
Here he is in his Blackbird mode, in the jet mode. And uh, I'm just going to show a few comparisons. So, Sky Warp. Masterpiece Sky Warp. And we have the Black Mamba Starscream. So, you can see how large it is. And then you have the um, Nitrogen Aries, I think. Black Mamba. It's the... Uh, you know, just a rip off the studio series. And of course we have the uh, aerial bots and Jetfire, but you can see how actually large it is. And um, I really like this figure. It's not fantastic. It's not like a fan's toys or, or something really, really good like that. But it's a Black Mamba. If you have Black Mamba, it's the same sort of thing, right? But, um, what to expect with that is um, pretty good quality for a cheap price. So I will buy these all day long. So Black Mama, keep coming up with them. And let's do some more comparisons, shall we? Since we've done so many. Here he is with the uh, Wei Zhang um, upscaled blackout. And here he is with the uh, Fans Toys Maverick. So you can see, oh, wow. That's really, actually, you yeah, know, that's, uh, the uh, Jetfire is bigger, but length is just about the same, isn't it? If you look at it, just about the same as the Maverick. So there you go. What else we got? Well, here are a couple more comparisons with the uh, Siege Jetfire and the uh, Last Night in the Megatron from Wei Zhang, uh, both versions, and, uh, Leader class Jetfire from before, and uh, you can see the Voyager Megatron and the uh, the Leader class back in there. But it's not transformed up, obviously. Um, I was gonna transform up the um, unique toys one. Uh, I went on the JTI for Amgo because I'm not really good at them anyway, and now like I can never understand those damn instructions. Um, probably not alone there, but anyhow, uh, yeah. After about fifty steps, I was like, wait a minute. I started transforming them like, nah, I, I got shit to do today. <laughs> I'm not spending an hour trying to do that. So, uh, yeah, maybe one day. But, uh, so there it is. I figured if I didn't do it, put this out soon too, I probably would never do it. Because uh, there's a few moments on here where over the past couple of days I've been trying to do a video. And you might be able to tell that I had a few to drink. I've had a few tonight, but not like the other night. So I'm a little slurry. So that's... Um, I'm not taking a stroke, uh, <laughs> just drunk. So, uh, yeah, so uh, bear that in mind, okay? So <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Oh, and uh, Marcos, uh, M3 Reviews, if you're watching this, I finally bought Sheridan today. So, yeah, there was a deal on eBay, and uh, I saw it for a good price, so I snatched her up. So hopefully I'll get that within the next six months. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys later.